my friends, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm really excited to introduce you to Majir Gallery, which is a WordPress plugin that great beautiful image gallery that's very easy to use with um, optimization packed with features. As you can see, um, here are some of the features. You can have a light box, image hover effects, custom grids where you could adjust your image, um, the size, how it's displayed, video gallery where you can actually link to an image from your YouTube channel and a uh, GIF gallery, social sharing. You could um, put your social media icon attached to the image. And so let's get started. Let's go right into our dashboard here. So once you reach um, your WordPress dashboard, first you would upload your plugin. And by doing that, go to plugin and go to add new and upload plugin and then choose your file and you would have it one, two, three here. I'm not gonna upload it because I already have it. And once you have the upload, here's your installed plugin. And as you go here, you will see that um, you would need the modular light and the modular pro to work together. Um, the original modular, you only needed one, but make sure you have both of these on. And here's your speed up that helps um, speed up your image for faster loading on the website and your video and short pixels, which is a very, um, makes a very good deal, um, which is uh, image optimization, um, speeds up everything. And now let's go into um, the lights and don't forget, click on the modular um, right here and go into your setting. And once you're in your setting, this is the compression here where you could adjust with the short pixel. I was talking about um, you make it lossy, glossy, or disable compression. Here's your light box here that you could um, adjust right here too, and then add in your license in this tab. So once you have that, let's get started in making like a, a new gallery. So let's go add to new. And once you add new, um, let's write in I'm going to add some of my panda photos, panda gallery. I love taking pictures at the zoo. I love pandas especially. So to me, I find this very useful, very helpful. And I'll show you the old way of how I display my image and how this helped me. So let's click into upload image here. And I'm going to take these and I'm going to drop it in as an example. And if you have a very large image like I do sometimes um, I'm putting the smaller version it might take a little bit to upload so I'm just going to do four for now so as you can see in here now I could go down my images have appeared and I could go down I have all these settings here I have the general which you could see I could show all um, image on light box which I want to turn that on and I want to do custom grid like custom grid once I select this I love this feature. I love how I'm able to organize this myself. It allows me to enlarge the, the image, um, display it however I like it, um, move it around. So really, really like this uh, feature here. And there's a gutter is the spacing between, the white spacing between the image was right here. Um, so I could increase or I could decrease. So you have full control over all this, like image count um, links, and you could, you actually could um, link to your direct uh, link to the image right here. You could do a fancy box. Um, let's do, let's put right here. Choose this pretty photos. Uh, and then you could also go into your filter and Here's all the choices, filter link color, um, you can choose green, hide all filter. So, and this here, you could add in your uh, your caption too, which is with a title and images, uh, select the color for your caption. Maybe I might do it blue just so it's easy to read your title, uh, purple, no, well, maybe purple. And, here, your, your default, you know, title and then your social. This is great. You could turn on your uh, 
social media icon. So what it'll do is once you hover over, it'll, it'll show that you could share this on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, or Pinterest. So I'm going to turn off Pinterest because I really don't use that. And maybe LinkedIn. So I'll just share it on uh, Twitter and Facebook. And if you scroll down, you have loading effect you want, the, the scale of it. Um, right here, you could rotate horizontal slide. So hover effect. It shows you here. You, you could uh, drop down, quiet. You see here where um, the social sharing, you see the, the, the Twitter, the Facebook, the um, Google, and the Pinterest. This is where you select the social icon. It could appear and you could share that image. I think that is awesome. What's a good image without sharing it? And here, I, I love this. This is a video. Um, so you could do that too. You could add in the video um, link and your style, your border. Uh, oops, it's not color. Let me see, maybe yellow. And speed up um, with the pro account here. You can select if you want if you want the compression enable or disable. Like if you're a photographer and you want to have, you know, likely you want to show your pictures in its best quality, so you wouldn't have it. But if you want, you know, like just small pictures that you want quickly uploaded, you could choose these um, compression. So if you look down here, here's the definition of the compression. One would be reducing unnecessary image information, resulting in no loss in quality. So you probably want this if you were a photographer and you want high definite, um, nice quality images. Here, lossy could be reduced uh, with a slight loss. So, and then glossy here is a choice where um, you care about your website load time and there's a slight loss, but it's acceptable. It doesn't compromise um, top-notch top speed. In your image gallery, you could um, style it. Like if you go to, and I'll leave the link below, they have very uh, detailed documentations of how you could um, change the color and coding and everything. Like let's say if I want to change the custom CSS, I could select this. Um, I want it to be white. Just Control C here and add that in. Yeah. So I'm going to show you here, you could actually go in and edit the image and link to your uh, videos or you could add alt text. So alt text is important because you reach a larger audience is for the people that are using uh, screen readers and it will describe the, the image panda with rainbow. So I love this and you could add in your, um, you could link into your URL or you could put your video URL, say we take this one. Target audience, um, as we all know, the future is here that. Okay, everybody... then let's go back to edit items and put in your video URL and hit save and close. So now this one, I published this, this would be linked to my video and you could see this button here and you could go into my media, media gallery. So all my images are in here if you want to find it. So I'm going to show you how um, the image was optimized by short pixel media library. And you can see here, my image is reduced by uh, 45.50, which is lossy, and then 41.89. And I also even have the option to go here and I could re-optimize it or restore it to just the original. So this is really awesome right here. And you could also even bulk short pixel too. So, I mean, this really saves you a lot of time. And this is this is wonderful. This is how the custom grid displayed. I have um, on my the white hover and I put the CSS in so I could share on my Twitter and I could share on my Facebook. So as you can see, I played around a lot with this. And let's go to the um, review here. It has excellent reviews. It has like 107 five stars. Awesome. If you want to give it a try, um, you could try the free version first. So the free version only allows you to have 20 images per gallery. Um, you can't add the videos and you can't do a lot of the other stuff like 
The Pro has the five more light box, has the image hover. I really recommend just getting the, the Pro. So AppSumo currently has a deal um, where it's a lifetime subscription. I think it's wonderful. And let's look at the plan here. If you view the plan for starting off with just $39, you could have it for five sites, unlimited galleries, six light box, um, 12 hover effects, and four included loading effects unlimited number of image you have basically like the same over here but you have unlimited sites so if you're um a photographer or an artist i think um this is a great deal it's a great price too so i want to show you how i used to display my photos i would use uh flickr which i think is a great site too i do love flickr it it serves a different purpose but if you're looking for um a quick you know uh, gallery and easy to use. Um, you don't have to have too much uh, technical skills because right here it has very detailed instructions um, of what to use and and you could look here for the uh, galleries for inspiration on their site. As you can see, it's beautiful. So I really do love this. Um, how easy it is to use. Um, I highly recommend it with me using a uh, Flickr. I still use that to store all my big images. It serves a different purpose, but as far as uh, sharing with my family or having a blog, this takes me um, very little time. I like the way that it compressed my photos for me, that short pixels included. So if you belong to AppSumo, which has different lifetime deals, short pixel is um, a service of its own and you have to pay like, um, different um, subscriptions for that. And I think it's wonderful. And I think it's awesome that if you buy modular that that's included in here, to me, that's, that just is a win. And just all the features of uh, how to adjust my gallery. I love the custom grid where I could increase it, make it uh, bigger or smaller versus if I had a gallery here, it's just static. Um, it's just people can just get overwhelmed with the pictures. So, so I really love it. Um, let me know if you try Modular Gallery and what you think. Um, thank you so much for watching. Have a blessed day.